everybody has kind of seen the work that you put in during the fall and you know just seeing how you've been able to build yourself up as an outfielder and as a hitter how much I mean how how important to you is it to just keep building off of that and trying to get into you know that kind of routine to keep becoming that better player that yeah you've been doing so far for sure man I mean every year you take away things that works well and then things that you could do without so I think it's essential as a player to constantly be in that development process and, you know, constantly proving yourself and, um, you know, giving yourself a chance to help the team win every day. And, you know, that's what I plan on doing going forward. So it's, it's very important. What do you think happened in, uh, at Bowie that didn't happen at Frederick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a constant uh, learning process with new environments. Um, for me as a player, you know, I was very comfortable, um, established myself pretty well. I had some confidence going into um, high A. And um, just the difference was new environment, just kind of learning my, you know, way around double A and um, the experience there. So I think just, you know, taking that as a learning experience was, was beneficial for me. Ryan, what does the, the getting the spring training invite mean to you? It means a lot. You know, I, it's going to be an awesome time to, you know, be around older guys and, you know, guys that have been in the big leagues and, and just learn. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to be a sponge and just try to soak up all the information I can and, you know, get to know all the guys and um, a little bit more in depth. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be exciting. How do you grade yourself in terms of what you need to work on to take your game consistently to the next level? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think just really, you know, being in tune with the experiences that I have in the games, um, the mistakes I make, um, and then the things I do well, just really be in tune and, and then have a game plan going forward with who's on the mound and, you know, everything, you know, all the little meticulous details um, that goes into the game. Um, just really being in tune and, and being really, really, um, you know, detailed oriented with my, my work um, in the cage behind the scenes and then on the field as well. Did you feel in a sense you were in a fall league, there's so many big names there that you might have been overlooked, but at the end you showed some people that you fit with some of those names? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a ton of talented players out there. Um, you know, I was definitely honored and, you know, very thankful for the Oriole community to vote me in for the Fall Stars game. Um, you know, that was a blast. Um, yeah, just learning from all the people that have different backgrounds and some of them I haven't played against because they're on the, the other, you know, divisions or leagues that I haven't played yet. So um, just getting to know them and, you know, being around them was a, a very, very blessing and a good experience for me. Defensively, where do you think your best spot is in the outfield? Yeah, I mean, I've had the most experience in center field, um, no doubt. Um, but, you know, I'm comfortable playing wherever they need me and, you know, wherever they you know, see me in the future, I'll work my butt off to try to, you know, be beneficial for the team and, and help them win. Brian, do you feel like um, with that, that speed that you've had, you've shown that you could steal bases, um, and it also adds in with uh, Cedric's speed and a couple of the other outfielders, do you feel like you all will be able to change that in the future and be able to get some more stolen bases? Um, even though the team's not necessarily known as a stolen bases team. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of the biggest tools, I think, um, that you can apply to the game. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be an exciting future with that kind of that role turn. Um, but yeah, I think just applying uh, some natural abilities. And like you said, Cedric, um, you know, he's, he's a very talented guy. And I just got back from LA with Brady Anderson to work on some things. And, um, you know, he applied, he was very good at, um, you know, stealing bases. So just kind of soaking up the knowledge that he gave me was, is very beneficial and plan on applying that in the future. What are some of the things you guys did out there? Um, a lot of sprint work. We were running a lot, which is awesome. Um, he was, he has a extensive track background. Um, so it was good to try to implement a lot of the specifics on, um, you know, A skips, B skips, uh, ski, uh, C skip variation, hill runs, all that type of, you know, sprint based oriented work. So it was good. It was fun.